Welcome back to Geek School, guys. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about uh, open NAT type and how to get that to open from strict and moderate. So, without any further ado, let's get started on this video. So, first thing first, I'm gonna show you how to access that menu. But before that, let's just uh, go over some uh, specific uh, specifications from Microsoft because I've been hearing a lot of things about. Um, you know, I have 100 meg down and 50 up, and I still don't get good connection. So here's the official Microsoft sub in Xbox. So the best connection you uh, you need for Xbox Live or Xbox, uh, you know, Xbox Online services, it's three megabits per second down and uh, 0 0.5 megabits per second upload. Um, considering if you have anything above that you should be fine uh, also factor in the how many people are using the internet on your house or you you know whatever you're using your xbox also the ping time does matter ping times are basically your hello packets to your xbox live servers so as far as these are less than 50 mil uh, not 50 i mean 100 milliseconds if they consider it 150 but it's for us it's um under 100 milliseconds we should be fine so I'm gonna be walking you guys through to the video how to get the net type open and uh, so let's get started here so I'm gonna close out of this and we're gonna go to the network settings tab on Xbox one so which is on the left hand corner settings and we're gonna go to all settings and on the network tab we're right here network settings so as you guys can see my NAT type right here in the middle which is strict so why is that and what does that mean network, network means uh, network address translation in that case um, so we're gonna do a network detail network statistics so it's gonna show us you know that the list I showed you here a few minutes ago that will show us that what my speed is you know my uh, ping time is and what my upload and download speed is so this is the first basic troubleshooting we need to do before we go any further in this scenario so oh uh, so we'll wait for that uh, another thing I'm going to show you is uh, a reboot that has to be done in a specific order for this NAT type to be cleared as open on your Xbox one so as far as the results come back or oh, we'll go further so here you guys can see my download speed as uh, Xbox one requirement is 3 meg and up and it looks good here uh, uh, upload is 0 0.5 and above packet loss is zero which basically means that every time you say hello to Xbox it's it's not losing any packets so it's as far as it stays at zero percent it's good anything above zero percent it's not good MTUs is supposed to be less than now it's it I'm pretty sure MTU set static to 1480 which means it will not change no matter what you do and latency is that ping time that we saw between zero and 150 milliseconds that would that's what it needs to stay under uh, the uh, the better the ping times the better the connection you're gonna have so basically if you have 50 milliseconds Second, so you'll have better connection than I have. Uh, the better connection you're going to see on the fiber circuits. Um, so if you have fiber circuits coming in your house, you're definitely going to have, you know, better network connections. As simple as that. So here's what I'm going to. Okay. So once we go under advanced settings, I'm going to not go there because it shows up my MAC address, which I don't want to make live to the public. You know, as far well as we go out in the world. Under advanced settings, you see you will see an option called clear alternate MAC address alternate clear MAC address something along those lines so go ahead and click on that and right after you see and go ahead and hit clear now once you hit that button it's gonna ask you to restart your Xbox but at this point we are not going to restart our Xbox here's what needs to happen if you have a modem that's coming in from your ISP basically internet service provider that needs to be unplugged at this point and if you have router that needs to be unplugged at this point so at this point, what would I do? Let's go ahead and unplug the modem and router. Right, so we're gonna wait around two minutes for this to be done. So all the you know, all the memory gets cleared and everything gets cleared. And plug in your modem first and let it boot up properly. Then plug in your router and give it two minutes to boot up and then hit that restart button on your Xbox. So in this scenario, I'm not gonna do that because we need to go further along this. So as you guys can see, that's my strict NAT type. So once that has been done, your your NAT type should change to moderate or something. But what happens if you want to make it open? So so to make it open, we need to go to in detail settings. So detail settings, I'm gonna open up my Edge, and usually everybody's uh, uh, IP is your router IP, your modem IP is basically uh, 192.168.1.1. As you see in the bottom uh, corner. It might be different for you, it'd be my new one nine two one six eight dot zero dot one. But it should bring you up to your logging page on your router or your modem slash router. 
settings and you should be able to log in there uh, once you once you hit that once you hit that screen right there um, looks like I mistyped it there uh, there it is and we're gonna go there so the default username and password for most of the people that have not changed anything is admin and password um, so we're gonna go ahead and type that in so we're gonna say okay I'm gonna log into my router so the main thing to consider here that a lot of people have different routers like you might have Linksys, Cisco, Meraki, you know, uh, you might have Juniper routers, you might have, you know, you know, Netgear, DDWRT firmers, there's, there's lots, lots of different things that you could have and, uh, Okay, so now guys, we have logged into the router. So that's my main interface of my, you know, router slash modem. Uh, so in this scenario, we're going to go to that advanced setup tab. And now what we're looking for here is a DMZ, which DMZ stands for is a demilitarized zone. Basically, to put it in plain and simple words that, you know, you have your house and right outside of your house, you, you have a fence. So um, when, you, when you buy an internet service from your ISP or service provider when you buy the router or modem that that builds and fence around right outside your area So what we're gonna do is put our Xbox right before that fence So you know anybody can talk to it right now. What, what is going on the Xbox? You know my Xbox is sitting behind the fence So you know you have to open the door and get inside the door ring the bell and then get it get inside the house but if my Xbox is sitting right outside the fence then just go and say hello Xbox, you know uh, that's that's what it basically means. So in this case, I'm gonna enter my uh, Xbox One's IP address, which is I've set that static manually to 192.168.1.253. Now, it's really not hard to set your um, IP address static. If you guys want me to, I can go ahead and make another video. Of that leave me a co uh, leave me comments in the comment section below if you want me to do that, because I don't think it's a really rocket science uh, to set your IP. But the, the basic setup should be for that is 192. Your IP address is 192.168.1.253. Your subnet mask is going to be 255.255.255.0 in your. Uh, your default gateway should be 192.168.1.1 and this settings can be accessed under uh, network settings where we are and you can manually set those so what I'm gonna do at this point I'm gonna apply these settings so it, it might take a minute or two here for it to apply uh, you'll probably see up here that it's trying to apply the settings and I might get disconnected from the internet for a few seconds here um, or my, I might even get a block page that, hey, uh, you know, your settings are being applied. But what needs to happen at this point that, that my router slash modem needs to be rebooted. And after that, what, what needs to happen is uh, we need to go through that clearing the Mac process again uh, just to make sure, you know, that it gets a brand new clear uh, clearance to 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 what we want to go to right uh to that xbox live services so let's see if if my router wants to play nice here or not then if it does then we should see a screen screen saying that okay you're all set you should be fine uh but let's see Okay, so we're back and I've logged into the router slash modem interface and there is the IP address. So now what needs to happen is this router slash modem needs to be restarted. And most of the time in utilities or, you know, administration tab, you can go in, you know, give you an option to reboot your modem slash router. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reboot my modem at this point. But uh, also what needs to happen is your Xbox needs to be clear with that alternate MAC address. So again, you need to go to settings, network, and go inside and go to advanced settings and alternate MAC address and hit clear. And then restart your Xbox once, once your uh, you know router slash modem has done got rebooting. So I'm going to reboot my you know modem here and I'm going to come. So we're back again guys, uh, Xbox is just restarting. So once you clear that MAC address, it, you know, it, it goes through this process of getting your new Xbox Live data from your Xbox server. So that's why this takes a minute for your Xbox to boot up, which is a good thing. Uh, now, it looks like the uh, modem is coming up right now, so it's getting that data. 
Uh, also, something I forgot to told you when you when you said that uh, Mac uh, IP address static to 192.168.1.253, you can all, it will also ask you for a, a DNS server. Basically, it's it's saying uh, wh where do I go to resolve this name? So just go ahead and put 8.8.8.8, and the secondary address should be 4.4.4.2. And that's a Google's DNS server. So you should you will head straight to Google for any kind of request that you're putting out so so uh so you will not have any kind of interference with your internal network so that's what you want to do so we're back on the main interface again and it looks like uh we're back live so at this point time what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the settings tab and we're gonna uh, check the nat type at this point so uh at this point let's go ahead and go to settings and we're gonna go to the network settings and there we go as you guys can see in the middle the NAT type is now open so you can talk to anybody on the because uh, since your Xbox is sitting right outside the fence so you can talk to anybody outside and the best thing I would suggest that you know, I would run a wired connection rather than being a wireless connection because what happens in wireless connection if you have lights fluorescent lights running or your microwave or any fridge stuff like that it interferes with that wireless signal so so for best connection I would use a wired connection straight from your router or modem so that's all for this video guys make sure you guys hit, hit that like and subscribe button you know if this video has helped you even a bit and I really appreciate your help guys and uh, have a fantastic day and have a fantastic 2016 and we'll see you in the next video and leave me your comments uh, below if you have any questions I will be happy to help you so I'm signing out we'll see you later bye